Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read a weekly horoscope that's from the 16th of July to the 22nd of July and that's for you coming from Gemini. Let's start with the 16th of July which is a Sunday and it starts very badly for you. Morning, afternoon, even early evening periods, bad news can filter in. Differences with the people you are with, feeling a sense of losing out or disappointment, even a danger of accidents. So drive carefully, but accidents can even happen in the home. And so also what was done secretly either by your <clears throat> the partner you have or the people with you or done by you something secretly, watch out, all these things can also get to be well known. <clears throat> The evening and nightfall period of July the 16th is much, much better and you might find solutions where earlier part of the day couldn't provide solutions. So be patient morning, afternoon and early evening period. The people you are going to be with in the evening and nightfall period will help you. So choose them and go out with them, discuss things with them, go socializing, even with your colleagues or even with the business people you know. The 17th of July starts much better for you, but these are long-term planets, they move very slowly and you from Gemini are used to things to happen very quickly. So long-term planets will move slowly, they keep you frustrated, <coughs> but believe me, they are on your side. So they build up the momentum of good things to happen for you in the morning, afternoon and even in the early evening period. So try to focus on what you have to do and you will see that everything you do in the morning afternoon can bring good luck for you. There's also people you know from your past who can help you as well, so contact them. The evening and nightfall period is not very good and the problem is that, <coughs> that whatever you try to do in the evening nightfall session, is, you don't get the cooperation from people. They are hidden enemies, which means that people who don't like you, you could be in their company. They can talk about you, they can do things about running the, your name down, and they can also bring about plenty of bad news for you. And as I said, accidents are also possible. So if you don't have to socialize, don't. Just go home and be in the safety of your own home. The 18th of July, <coughs> plenty of aggressive planets are there. So they will make you blunt, they will make you say things in not a nice way, they will make you actions also uh, somehow others don't like it. And so they make you a person showing your temper and showing that you have the nasty side of you as well. But they bring up a lot of determination though. So have your determination but take the soft approach. And that way you're not going to step on any toes but your determination level will have to push you forward. Evening and nightfall period, also good. Uh, this time it slows down a bit. Morning, afternoon, planets are racing around. Evening and nightfall period, these planets are good, but they are slow. So they bring frustration and getting things done. They can bring delays in getting the news you want. There can be disappointments in appointments either being delayed. Things like that will happen. Just be patient and things will work out. In fact, the evening and nightfall can give you long-term solutions in the areas of where you want them. <coughs> the 19th of July, <coughs> excuse me, the 19th of July is a Wednesday and plenty of ego planets are there and they are not favoring you in the morning, afternoon or early evening period. They can cause you to be blamed. They can cause your name reputation to be in trouble. They can put you in the firing line of any kind of problems at your place of work or in business. And even with your marriage and romance partner, there can be problems as well. You cannot afford to be arrogant. You have to improve your tolerance for others. And most of all, you cannot afford to isolate yourself by doing these things or you will get, not get the support you want. The evening and nightfall period are these very determined planets who make you very blunt and show your temper and show aggression into what you want to do. Don't do that. The whole day is all about ego and aggression and mental and physical unhappiness. 
Well, these are not your worst planets, but they make your temperament, that's the key word, they make your temperament very suspect. You become overly sensitive to anything said or anything done for you. So take the soft approach during the whole day and you'll be able to make it turn around and make it at least be productive. The 20th of July is a Thursday and so the 20th of July we see emotional planets and these emotional planets bring a lot of water into your horoscope and that means that you are not able to focus on what's important. You are dreamlike, you are thinking of romance or you are thinking of emotional areas in your life even which are, which are connected to work. Be factual. Facts and figures are very important. Use logic and focus on what's very important and the morning and afternoon period will not be wasted. The evening and nightfall period, the ego planets come back. And these ego planets make you oversensitive in any area of your life. You get hurt very easily. You retaliate very fast, showing your arrogance. So if you don't really need to socialize, don't. Because you're going to come across perhaps people who will either challenge you or not agree with you. And that way the evening becomes very touchy. The 21st of July, Friday, is a really bad morning, afternoon and early evening period. So I can see how the days are not going according to your plans and now comes the bad crunch. And the 21st of July, July which is a Friday, becomes exceptionally bad at work, disappointing news, trouble with your colleagues, with your bosses, very bad news coming from business, a lot of complications, you are not able to settle them in the morning, afternoon period. Be patient. Be patient means do not be stubborn. Do not want to rush into doing things, wanting to make changes in a rushed way. Be, be patient, but carry on and worry about the day. You cannot definitely be argumentative. The evening and nightfall period, emotional planets come in. So from an earlier morning, afternoon, early evening period which was really bad now emotionally you are spent you are very unhappy you feel lonely you feel unwanted you feel a person nobody wants to come by your side to help you so should you be alone maybe not a good idea try to find somebody who can be with you and help you but if you are going to socialize watch out that this dominating the tactics of these planets will make you dominating and even the evening will have some problems the 22nd of July starts very well for you. All solutions are found, everything comes under your control, your plans are going to be liked by the people you are with, family, romance, marriage partner. If you are out with your colleagues, also a good idea, morning, afternoon period. But watch out, the evening period turns very nasty. Now why? You see, this planets who are who I call nasty, they are also there in the morning, afternoon and early evening period in your horoscope. But they hit and run. They create a mischief, they create what you said no good, did what you did no good and then they move away. And so you are left floundering. But they don't keep on increasing the trouble. And so you have to be careful that little pockets of problems are going to in the evening and nightfall period become big pockets of problem. That's how trouble grows. So if you behave yourself morning, afternoon, early evening, you will have less problem in the e evening and the nightfall period. Evening and nightfall period, watch out, you are going to have arguments, quarrels, very easy. And the people you are with <coughs> are not very supportive, so they can turn against you. A danger of robbers and thieves, yes, and also watch out for accidents as well. Well, that's my forecast for you. I'm already Skyping. And I'm charging USD 50, 5 zero for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And during the 90 minutes, I'll be using your date of birth, your time of birth, looking at your palms whilst looking at you on Skype. I will be face reading you. If you want me to use uh, the Kabbalistic tarot card during the 90 minutes, I will. So go to Facebook and follow me and um, communicate with me, ask me questions. And don't ask me silly questions like some people do as, how accurate are you? What am I supposed to say? Oh, that's stupid. Okay, uh, uh, ask me sensible questions and I will reply them to you and maybe one day we will Skype together. And for the next for your next five or six years, I will be able to guide you in all areas of your life. 
I look forward to that. Thank you. Good luck.